in the boots down but oh man still you know we mustn't grumble must we because no matter how bad things get it could always be a lot worse that pigeon could have got both eyes there oh yeah we really mustn't grumble but i tell you what i know a story about a man that did grumble groaned a lot a lot a lot he was called Jonah, and he really grumbled. In fact, don't take my word for it. Allow me to tell you all about it. This is about Jonah. Jonah, the groaner. Jonah was a groaner. That's right, a groaner. So when God told him to go to Nineveh and tell the people who lived there to change their evil ways, what do you think no, Jonah did? Yeah, he groaned. Oh no, he groaned. Not Nineveh. Anywhere but Nineveh. Oh, the people who live there are our enemies. Oh no. And when he stopped groaning, Jonah bought himself a ticket. A ticket for a boat ride. A boat ride that would take him the opposite way from Nineveh. Of course, God listened to Jonah groan. God watched him buy his ticket, but God still wanted Jonah to go to Nineveh. So when the boat reached the deepest part of the sea, God sent a storm. God, help us, cried a sailor. We're actually sinking. God, save us, cried another one. We're going to tip over. God must be really, really angry, cried the captain. Somebody here on board must have really annoyed him. And what do you think Jonah did? Yeah, he groaned. It's me, Jonah groaned. I'm the one that God's angry with. He told me to go to Nineveh and here I am with you heading in the opposite direction. Oh no! God forgive us! cried the sailors. Oh dear, groaned Jonah. What do I do? Jonah groaned and groaned and groaned and then the sailors came up with the idea of saying, I know if we throw him in the water everything will be okay. Oh no, Jonah groaned at that thought but before he knew it Splash! He was in the water. He was sinking down and down. And if you can talk underwater, yeah, he would have groaned as well. Oh my gosh, Jonah groaned. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen. And before he could groan again, the fish opened its mouth and swallowed Jonah up. Now, it was God that sent the fish to rescue Jonah and to give him time to think. He had plenty to groan about, of course, sat in that huge fish's tummy. And the sea smell and the rotten fish, it was all too much and Jonah moaned. But Jonah was still alive and that was something to cheer about. So eventually, Jonah stopped his groaning and started to pray. I was sinking, Lord. I was drowning, but you saved me. So now I will do whatever you want. Three whole days passed before the fish eventually spat Jonah up on the beach. And Jonah kept his promise. And what do you know? Right where Jonah spat was spat out by the whale, big signposts right in front of him on the beach saying Nineveh, this way. 
<sighs> Jonah thought to himself, I suppose I did promise. Forty days is all you've got, he warned them when he got there. And if you haven't changed by then, God is going to destroy your city. Now the people of Nineveh listened, and the people of Nineveh wept. Then the people of Nineveh changed. From the king right down to the poorest slave, they decided to actually do what was right. And what did Jonah do? Yeah, Jonah groaned. He sat himself down in the shadow of a tree and he groaned. I knew this would happen, he groaned. You are a loving God who loves to forgive, but I still don't like the people of Nineveh. They're smelly and, 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 and they're different and they're mean and I wish they had been destroyed. Jonah eventually fell asleep, groaning still. And during the night, God sent a worm to kill the tree. So when Jonah woke up, he groaned more than ever. Oh man, the tree's dead, he groaned. And now I have no shade. Oh, Jonah, God sighed. You cry about this tree, but you care nothing for the people of Nineveh. I want you to love them just like I do. And finally, God added, I want you to stop your groaning. I know it's easier said than done. That when we've got something to groan about, oh, we can't go to the shops anymore, or oh, we can't do this, or we can't do that. But there are still some things that we can do. And one of those things, actually, is we can still pray. And God still hears us. And instead of maybe groaning, what if you just spend a little moment and all the time that you've got, just pray to God for the people who are affected by this virus, which is pretty much everybody. And just pray to God that he can make it better because we believe as Christians that he can. I'll leave that thought with you. Okay. Bye. Good night.
knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful love, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, cause you are near. I can lie down and sleep in peace. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, you are my shield, my protector. I can lie down, go off to sleep, knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, cause you are near, I can lie down and sleep. 